Hello everyone, my name is Taylor Carley and this is Chicha Thursdays with Taylor. In today's episode, we'll be talking about post-secondary education and opportunities with cognitive and intellectual disabilities. And I have my very special guest, William. How are you doing today? Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm doing fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your experience with post-secondary education. Okay. First of all, thank you. For, I would like to say thank you to Taylor and Rebecca and all the um, individuals at Mississippi State. Uh, for is it Mississippi State? No, USM. USM. I'm sorry, USM. I apologize, folks. But I just want to say thank y'all um, for having me. I'm looking forward. I'm um, looking forward to working with y'all and keeping in touch with y'all. But to answer your question is my, my experience at a post-secondary pr um, program was a tremendous one. First, it helped me understand what my disability was and how I can, I knew what it was, but how I can hon hone into it, how I can con control it and take, um, how I can take control and how I can use it to my strengths as well as improve all my weaknesses. I have, for all you listeners out there, I have, autism um, spectrum disorder, ASD. So for myself, I'm on the autism spectrum. Another word for it is Asperger's. So my strengths were, I got to learn is I'm a talker, I'm an extrovert, I'm energetic, I dive right in, whether I pass or fail, doesn't matter whether you look at me, think of me or not, I'm just gonna have fun with it. And having that post secondary program has helped me understand my weaknesses. One of my weaknesses was not picking up on body language get rambling off on topics, uh, not being able to pick up on social cues along with body language, um, finding like when I'm talking to people, um, instead of rambling, 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 I'm actually keeping it short and sweet. Uh, finding out my, my, I knew my weakness wasn't great note taking, how to improve on my note taking skills. Uh, what are my strengths? Being that I'm a extrovert person, I'm a talker, and I have a great story people have told me, so, excuse me. So that has allowed me to become a motivational speaker on the side, but most importantly, it allowed me to figure out what I wanted to do and how I want to still continue to help people or self-advocates more or less, young, um, young, young individuals that are in middle school, even elementary maybe, um, helping them. So really working with youth, middle school, high school, and college to help them succeed in anything they want to do. So currently I work for the South Carolina Developmental Disabilities Council. So every state has one. So you just have to Google it. Um, the De De Developmental Disabilities Council in Mississippi or, uh, or Georgia or wherever you're um, living or located in. Um, just have to find it and just see what they offer and how they can help and what you want to participate. It, they definitely have some great resources. Awesome. My name is Taylor Carr and this was Chit Chat Thursdays with Taylor signing out.